back to City of Heroes. Rivers, badges, and story. We're gonna, f I believe, finish this little arc. I'm loving my Keldian. No, not my non Keldian. You traveled through numerous corridors in this warehouse before ending up within the Arachno space embedded deep beneath the streets of Paragon City. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I could do this. I, I know this map like the back of my hand, so we're gonna get some XP doing this. Um, can you hear me? It's Matthew. I snuck a device on myself. You, the FBSA agent, get up! Uh-oh. Look, I'll do whatever you want. Just let my wife and the others go. Unfortunate for you, we already have a mole. We'll make you into an example. Uh-oh, Seraph. Please. Just leave my wife at... Ah! Okay, well, Seraph, huh? Yeah, I have a feeling I know who. Kind of makes sense, considering his disdain. Yes, you're gonna give me a level? Well, you won't. Somebody in here is going to level me. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hey, buddy. Not cool. <laughs> Ow. Nope. Oh, it's so close. I don't need this. Or this, for that matter. Okay. Oh, moved it. You didn't. Oh, hi. I was going to say, you didn't level me? If he didn't, you will. No? Oh, this is sucky. Thank you. That's what I was waiting for. Level six. Use up some of this. What are you guys doing to Matthew and his wife? I don't think it's cool. Yeah, for the most part, I think I'm done fighting rank and file. This is going to take me up. I love arachnid spaces, but they're so flippin' intimidating. It reminds me too much of Silent Hill. And if you don't know that reference, you don't understand this. <laughs> ah, hey, buddy. There's a mat on the ground. No, no. What? Who are you? Get her. Um, no. Get Matt. You are a numbskull. Hey, you're a great man. You're sure sight for sore eyes. And boy, are my eyes sore. And my chest, my legs, basically sort of everything is hurting really bad. Looks like the plan worked out pretty well, huh? Ma, you did a brave thing, Matthew. Not a lot of people would have tried that. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks. Like we're both on the same page with this thing, huh? 
I think I earned some major points with the wife for doing this. <laughs> oh, there's no time to rest now. I'll be fine. You, you gotta go after the mole. It's Aaron Theory. I kind of figured. He, he betrayed us all. He, he's the one helping Arachnus all this time. Theory? He was the one who told me about the mole. I don't know what he's up to, why he betrayed us. He even told Arachnus that you would, wouldn't be coming. It's like he wants you to succeed or something. But he told Arachnus all about our weaknesses, when we'd be vulnerable. He, he even told them to hold off my execution for a few more minutes. And it was just time for you to get here. You've got, you've got to find him. Find out what he's up to. I'll handle this. Don't you worry about it. Oh my god. There's another elevator over here. Okay. Aaron, where the frick are you, man? Why? This makes no sense. I love the changing of <sighs> River Grace. I was wondering when you'd arrive. Uh -huh. I assume you saved Matthew, given that you're here now. I also assumed that he told you he saw me. I asked them to spare Matt's life. While a coward for most of his life, Matt took a stand, detoured the example you set for him. And so, I decided to have his life intertwined with your choice. Had you decided not to show up or were killed, then he too would have been killed. You're an ass, dude. In a few moments, the commander in charge will show up to fight you. You will soundly defeat him, bringing an end to all of this, returning Atlas to its former peace. Why did you do this, dude. The heroes in the city became too complacent. Too many left crimes unanswered, believing it was beneath them. Too many simply went about living their lives as if they were normal, when they were not, when they had responsibilities to the people. The heroes of this city needed to be shaken back awake to realize their true role in this life. The destruction of galaxy helped with this, but still, heroes and Atlas continued in their complacency. There needed to be a strike to the heart, and so here we are. You, <laughs> you had no right to do this. To, not at all, dude. No, I had no right to do this, but I did it anyway. In dire times, someone must take a, make a choice and do what is wrong in order for others to take a stand and do what is right. Heroes will remember for some time that they must always be vigilant, that no part of the city is completely safe. They will stand and protect others, putting their own petty views of laziness behind them, and you yourself have become a product of this. If it were you, not if it were not for you, not for the destruction of the galaxy, for Arachnos' intervention, would you have been stirred to action? To use your abilities for the good of mankind, I would have helped regardless of the situation, dude. Perhaps. That is what makes you stand out from the others. But many started out like you, I'm sure, eyes full of wonder, your hearts bursting with the desire to save the city, the state, the country, the world. But how many times can you do this? Once? Twice? It will eventually wear you down on you, and you will give in to the apathy like so many others before you, and then someone like myself will come along and help reawaken you. I have one final request for you. <laughs> what kind of request do you got? You're going to jail. Kill me. Uh, no. What I have done is unforgivable. I do not deserve to live in the same world as these people. Not after what I've helped trigger. It is not true justice if I survive at all. The innocent die. Deliver the final call of justice to me and seal your role as hero, River Grace. No. You'll pay for your crimes like all the others. You're under arrest. 
Your S theory assuring that he'll pay for his crimes that he has committed. And here's a jerk. Uh-huh. Dude. You defeated Arbiter Metzen, Meston, the man who was leading the attack. As he fell, he threatened you with these words. Arbiters are the hand, the will of Lord Recluse. An attack on an Arbiter is an attack on Lord Recluse himself. You will not live long enough to regret what you have done today. Okay. Sure do. <sighs> All right. We help Matthew rescue his wife. Oh. We'll look at the badge after we talk to Matt. I could call him, but for the sake of my screenshot for this episode, <laughs> I need to go over here. Uh, if you're wondering about the pixelation, that is actually an effect. It's called pixels. It's an aura. Ah, yeah, here he is. And look, the wife. Looks like everything worked out okay, huh, River Grace? Atlas Park is safe from Arachnos. I'm alive, and I just might have saved my marriage by doing something that... Th I think we classify as stupidly brave. I'm happy that Aaron Theory is going to spend a very long time rotting in the darkest place of the sick. I might even go visit him, just to spite him. <laughs> what plans do you have for yourself? After the whole, you know, saving Atlas Park from the brink of destruction but against Arachnos, I'm going to continue to fight crime. Fight isn't over. You're right, Grace. Uh, I have no doubt. Even now, King's Row could probably use your help. But hey... Keep in touch, all right? I'd like to think that we've sort of become friends in all of us. Hopefully, you won't have to come bail me out in any more problems. I'll keep in touch. And you take care of yourself and your wife. Da, da, da. Uh, and the badge you get for doing this. Oops, let me go back to most recent. Savior of Atlas Park. Da, 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 da. And with that, I will see you guys in the near future. And thank you for watching.